What is happening gamers? This is Bradley here. Today we're going to be running through some Nintendo news. So first up is that the CEO of Level 5 was asked about the possibility of a third trilogy for Professor Layton, considering Professor Layton and the Azure Legacies is the conclusion of the second trilogy. So is there going to be any more Layton games after that? He stated that if there is going to be a seventh game, it probably won't be the Layton we know today. And you can take that a couple ways. For one, he could be talking about a change in gameplay, which is something I wouldn't actually mind considering the Layton series is getting pretty repetitive, and that's the same type of gameplay over and over, and you even do some of the same type of puzzles, just with a different story. So if they changed up the gameplay in some way, that would help freshen things up. So maybe they can release a Layton game on the Wii U, considering the Wii U does have two screens that it can use, just like the DS or the 3DS. Maybe they can make it more of a free roam and open open world game instead of being a point and click adventure, that would help freshen things up and that's just one possibility. On the other hand, maybe the actual character Layton will be different. Maybe it'll be an elderly Layton and he has a Layton Jr. or something like that. I don't know. But as for right now, we don't know if there is going to be a 7th Layton game. There is a possibility of a happening, considering Layton has become a pretty big series. But Level 5 could just take a break from the Layton series for a little bit, so it doesn't become too stale. In other news, that Gaijin Games has announced that they're going to be releasing some DLC for Runner 2 Future Legend of Rhythm Alien. This DLC will be known as the Good Friends Character Pack, and it will introduce 7 well-known video game characters to Runner 2, which include Quote from Cave Story and Raz from Psychonauts. Now, as of making this video, we don't know if there are going to be including any new levels in this DLC, but it would be kind of pointless if they don't include any new levels, considering the characters in Runner 2 are basically just different skins and they don't change up the gameplay in a different way. Now this DLC will be coming to the Wii U, but we don't have an exact release date for it. We do know that it will be releasing for Steam this Thursday, so I guess it shouldn't be too long until it comes to the Wii U. Now we know that Namco Bandai is bringing One Piece Romance Dawn for the 3DS to Europe, but what about North America? Well, Namco Bandai was asked about this happening and a company representative stated that they have no plans in bringing this game to North America. So things aren't looking too pretty for that region. So it's not like they stated that they don't want to talk about it right now, they just flat out stated that they have no plans in bringing this game to North America. So looks like Namco Bandai is going to be skipping out on North America with this game. But there is always that possibility that they can change their plans. Now Doug Tenapple, who's the dude behind Earthworm Jim, made a couple more posts on the official Facebook page for Earthworm Jim, and it sounds like he is indeed working on an Earthworm Jim 4. So he stated that this new game would feature 2D with no 3D, the game would focus on single player with no multiplayer so it can concentrate on the gameplay and characters, and it would feature the same freak show of bad guys and even feature an obscure amphibian in one of the levels. So it does indeed sound like Doug Apple is working on a new Earthworm Jim game, so that should make fans of Earthworm Jim pretty happy. Now maybe they'll go with a more digital route with this game and just release it like on the Wii U eShop or something, or maybe even go for a portable outing and release it on the 3DS or something, I don't know. But I guess we shouldn't be too surprised if an Earthworm Jim game is announced. And finally is that we're still waiting for that Wii U system summer update considering Nintendo stated that there would be one in spring and one in summer and Nintendo has been really really quiet about the summer system update. So when are we going to be getting that? So according to Emily Rogers who has got stuff in the past correct, she's telling us to not expect the Wii U system summer update this month or July and considering Nintendo hasn't talked about it that's probably what's going to be happening. So maybe we can expect the update sometime in August. Well that will wrap up this video guys, you can stay tuned for a new episode of Blast from the Nintendo Pass where I'll be reviewing Spelunker for the NES. But I'll talk to you later in the next video guys. Bye!